First Alert 5 weather. That's what it looked like on Monument Hill at 3 o'clock this afternoon. It was snowing, it was blowing, low visibility, it was slick and slow. Side roads still very dangerous tonight across northern and northeastern El Paso County. Starts around Mark Shefflin, rolls out to the northeast. If you're going to be traveling later tonight or through that commute tomorrow morning, allow yourself a lot of extra travel time. Outside tonight, a live look downtown on Tejon. We've got mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. It's cold, a light breeze when it's this cold creates a feels like index. Wind chill right now is 16 degrees, live in Pueblo, 25 on the thermometer. With that light breeze, it feels like 18 degrees. All right, a little better weather in your Thursday forecast. Here's what's going to happen. High pressure going to be the key player. That's going to bring in sunshine, and it is going to be warmer tomorrow, 7 to 9 degrees warmer than what we had around here today. Here's the way it shakes out hour by hour. Tomorrow morning, early, clear, and cold. 7 a.m. temperatures into the single digits and teens. We're going to shake off those icicles late morning through the afternoon, but I think we'll see a healthy a batch of clouds roll off the continental divide here across I-25 during the afternoon hours. No moisture with those clouds, but again, kind of putting a damper on uh, that uh, warming trend that we're going to see across our area. Here's what happens. Now, the storm system that hit us last night and today lift that thing off to the northeast. As I said, we're seeing another one warm up in the bullpen already. Here it comes. It's going to track across the four corners, dig across northern New Mexico. That's in a prime spot to bring in more snow to southeastern Colorado. Right now, it looks like the prime target with the current track, the southeastern portion of our state, four to maybe six inches of snow possible by midday on Saturday. For now, it looks like light snow for the springs in Pueblo, a little more down across places like Walsenburg, La Vida, and Trinidad. Of course, the storm is still developing. We'll keep you updated on those totals as you continue to watch. We better get used to this unusually cold air. This forecast takes you right into February, and we've got the bullseye all across Colorado, unseasonably cold air for the next seven to 10, and maybe even 14 days. We'll We'll stay on top of that for you in the springs. Today's high, the coldest we've had so far during the new year. Good news, though, moisture, much needed moisture, over a tenth of an inch at the airport. Pueblo, you landed five hundredths of an inch of precipitation. Lows tonight, much colder than last night, dropping back into the single digits, teens all the way to below zero across the Alamosa area. Tomorrow, enjoy that sunshine during the morning hours. We're going to be anywhere from seven to nine degrees warmer all across southeastern Colorado. And your bonus tomorrow, no wind to deal with. That is going to be so nice after today in Colorado Springs. Friday is the day we want to break out on that super seven day forecast. Next piece of energy rolls across the area. That'll bring in some light snow here, maybe an inch or less across the city. But again, stay tuned for updated forecasts. Saturday, a dry day. And then by Sunday, here comes storm number two. That'll linger into Monday morning. So I think you'll have frosted flakes for breakfast Monday morning and slick commute again as well. It's going to be real cold too. The high on Monday, not even hit the freezing mark for Pueblo dry and warmer tomorrow. Then as that Pacific energy tracks across New Mexico. You're back in snow business. Light snow late Friday ending Saturday morning. Still another storm late Sunday into Monday morning. Icy roads possible with both those systems. I think the one Sunday into Monday is going to be the stronger of the two. Canyon City, you're on that Pacific storm track as well with two more storms over the next five days. It's going to be colder than normal, especially early next week with Monday's high not even hitting the freezing mark. Woodland Park, keep that snow gear handy. Flurries Friday afternoon into the night and a stronger storm late Sunday. It'll be an icy commute Monday morning. Stay tuned for updates right here. First Alert 5. Rob.